Imagine a platform where you could build your own online store, find winning products, create ads, and have an AI brand builder all in one app. Well, I found it. In this video, I will go through this app step by step from start to finish, like from creating an account to finding products to building your online store. Now, you can think of this app as an alternative to Shopify, but with even more features. So, this platform is Sell the Trend. Sell the Trend is a dropshipping platform with hosting and winning products, and you can also launch your online store quickly within the platform. It's basically like Sell the Trend is the only app you need to start dropshipping. They've put everything you need to start all in one place. So, no more talking, let's see everything in action. With the link in the description, you can come to Sell the Trend and create your account with a 25% discount for free. Now, the pricing plans for Sell the Trend are if you use my discount code, which with the link you can see, it's 25%, $25 per month, and $60 per month. You even get two months for free with the yearly plan, you have the discount, and you even have a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. After you create your account, this is the dashboard that you will see. So, Let's see what is what. The first page is your dashboard. You can install the Chrome extension to add products from AliExpress easily, but that's up to you. Then you can search for products immediately. You see all the available products that Sell the Trend has, 17.2 million products. Here you have some apps, some Nexus trending products, which will come to what Nexus is in a bit. Your sales, cost, earnings, everything that you need to see basically. Then from the left panel, we can switch between tabs and next up we have products. So here is where you find products. We have everything. And on everything, you see all the products, basically no filters. As you can see, here are all the products. You can add some filters if you want, but you, here you see everything. But here you can see it says Nexus. And Nexus is the AI that Sell the Trend uses to find winning products. From here, you can switch to the Nexus products. Let's see trending. And here you'll see the products that Nexus, the AI, has filtered and found that they are good. You see all the details, the price, the orders, the sales that it got. And if you say product research, you can see even more details. How many orders it has, the product cost is $3, the selling price is $17, like these are the averages that other stores are selling, the profit margin, the total sales, there's only one supplier for this product, 7 stores selling this product, and here's the rating. Below you can see the chart, like the orders that this product gets every day, some insights about the product, the competition meter, the stores that are selling this product, and the supplier. Like I think these all you need to know, like they put everything you need to know in front of you. You don't have to do any research that everything is here. Now, going on, we have marketplaces. If you're saying that I only want to see products from AliExpress or only from CG Dropshipping, you can filter that and only see products from CG Dropshipping, for example. You can see stores. And here you see other e-com stores like their products, their pricings, their monthly traffic, their monthly revenue, their orders. You can see everything. And just like that, you can analyze your competitors to be better. And finally, I think this one is new, you have TikTok. And here you see TikTok ads, basically TikTok videos, but on these videos, they promote a product. So basically they are ads. And this is a strategy that most dropshippers do. Instead of going on TikTok and scrolling, here you have all the videos for you listed. You can see how many views they got, how many likes, how many shares they got. You can see the product. Like if we click inspect, place, likes, shares, comments, advertiser, the TikTok itself, the store that's selling the product and the supplier. Now, next up, we have local shipping. This basically is you can choose local shipping. Like if you say, I only want to find suppliers from United States or suppliers that are, you know, providing these products from these countries, like United States, for example, and you will only see products that are supplied from United States. As you can see, all these products are getting shipped from United States. Then we have suppliers, but I already showed you that from the marketplaces. Then the manage tab is also another important tab that you need to know. Here you see your products, all your products, your orders. When you get an order, you'll see it here. Once you connect a store, we'll do that later. From the name itself, as you can understand, you manage your store and your orders from here. And finally, we have some quick links here, which you can import views. You can get dropshipping course and TikTok course. If you want to get some more knowledge, they provide you that as well. As you can see, there are online courses that you can take and get some knowledge on Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Shopify dropshipping, or sell the trend dropshipping, or general dropshipping marketing. Now that we know what is what, Let's see how we can create a store. For that, you click connect the store from top right. And here, if you want, you can connect your Shopify store if you already have one or WooCommerce. But as you can see, you can also create a store within the Sell the Trend with the Sell the Trend shops. So let's click create a shop, put a name for our shop. I'm going to say Adalans. This is the URL. If you want, you can change it. I'm going to say continue. You're going to choose your currency. You can choose United States dollars, euros, yens, sterlings, pounds, whatever. I'm going to go with United States dollars and I'm going to click create shop. Now here, it's going to say you what your level is. Are you beginner, intermediate, advanced? Now to show you, I'm gonna click beginner, but you choose whatever fits you. 
Now, as you can see, our store is ready. Like we created our store and from here we can click shop settings. And this is basically another dashboard specifically for our store. Here you see your stats, like your stations, your sales, your orders, your conversion rate, the stuff you probably know already if you're doing some dropshipping. Now to build our store, we're going to click online store, click manage themes. And by default, we have trendy. But if you want, you can choose these as well. Like this one actually looks good. If you can do a one product store, let's say clone and use theme. All right, we're currently using the trendy theme. Let's click edit theme. If you have ever used Shopify, you're probably familiar with this layout and from here you can build your store as you wish. I mean, you already have a ready to use theme, so it's not that hard, but basically if you click here, edit section, you can choose your colors, like maybe this, this one looks good. You can adjust the text, write whatever you want. And you can do the same thing for every section that you see here, like the headings, this one here, the footer, if, you, if we go down, like as you can see here, you can put whatever you want. Or if you're saying that this is not enough, you can click add new section and add a new section, like maybe add a new banner, new collection viewer, an image maybe. Or you can even do custom HTML if you know HTML. Another important thing to know is that you can switch between pages from top left. If you click here, you can, for example, go to the product page. Now, since we are doing one product page, we don't have many pages. We all you just have the product page and this is the product page here you can change the product title or the price these are the things that you need to do on the product page we'll come to that what you can change here is the announcement the header the product body which are just the colors the images that you're going to put here and here's basically the part that you're going to give some information about the product and the footer but again if you're saying that this is not enough for example you click plus button here and here you can ask some frequent last questions like just like that you can switch to theme settings and change the theme that you have chosen like the colors again but this time the typography as well like the fonts used the font size the bottoms their thickness their radius you can even do custom css if you know css if you know how to program if you know how to code and once you're done you click save and you can even click view to see your store this is how it looks now it doesn't look that good because i messed up with the borders things on the layout but this is basically how your page looks. Now, I'm gonna come back and this time I'm gonna go to the pages. And from here, you can add a new page. Earlier, I showed you how to switch between pages and we only had a home page and the product page. From here, you can add a new page. For example, let's say contact. We already had a template for contact us, so let's just choose that. Click add page. And now we have a contact us page. As you can see, this is how it looks. You can also add apps like currency converter, reviews, Mailchimp integration. And Mailchimp is like for email marketing and stuff. You can do a multi language shop if you're doing international i don't know now these are free and these are essential this and this in order to use these two you need to get the essential pricing plan you have the analytics page to see your analytics nothing much to say and the settings basically your shop settings for example if you're not going to sell in the united states you don't want it to be on pounds but you want it to be on kilograms etc you get my point you have tracking you have payment gateways, like how you're gonna get paid. It's either PayPal or Stripe or both. You have shipping, you have tax, and you also have custom domain. This is where you add your custom domain. Like you come to the settings and from here you can add your custom domain. You click add custom domain, you add your domain. And if you don't know, if you have never added a domain, here they explain you how you can do it. All right, this is what you need to know in order to create a store. But what I didn't show you is how to add a product. So let's go back to the app. From here come the products and let's find a product. I'm not really gonna go through these products to see like which one is actually better for my needs. I'm just gonna show you how to do that. And then you go and search for a actually good product. For example, let's click on that again. And all I need to do is click add to store and here you see other stores selling these products and you can see the details from here like the title they have used the tags the description they have put in the images that they used the, their selling price and you can analyze like that like this is another shop this is what they used they didn't put anything so i would say this is not a good shop and once you find something you like which you can change stuff like let's say you don't want to sell at this price you, you want to sell like this you see your profit margin here so you're still in profit i'm gonna change the title for example just like this then you're gonna choose the images that you want to use for example this 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 let's add all of them and click push to store and that's pretty much it you can also click import reviews and you can import reviews from the listing from the aliexpress click import and awesome that's it 60 reviews imported go to the product page let's see we added the product the pricing is done you can choose the color the specifications, reviews with images, they look pretty good. We have the description already. Of course, you can change all these. Now, I didn't touch anything because I'm just showing you. I'm teaching you how to do it. When you're actually going to do that, you know, you better check it and change it. But this is pretty much what you need to do. And adding a product is that easy. Nothing complicated. In my opinion, having all these tools in one place 
makes this whole process a lot easier and less stressful. Plus, you would see hundreds of dollars by only using one app instead of using you know multiple apps. Again, the link for sell the trend is in the description. You can go and create your online store with a free trial to see how it goes, and then on top of that, get a 25% discount after the free trial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos like this.